Hi everybody, welcome to the second part of the video about frustrating issues that usually happen to beginners. Let's start. How can I hide the viewport? When I want to print a drawing from the layout section, by default the viewport outline will also appear in the paper. But I don't want it. How should I proceed? Easy. I'm going to the Layer Properties Manager and I will create a new layer just for the viewport. I will name it as Viewport, press Enter, then I will select my viewport and I go here to this tab to change the layer to the new one I just created. After, I just click again on this tab and then click in the sun to freeze the layer. Now, as you see, it's not appearing anymore and I can proceed to print the drawing. I insert the hatch bar pattern, but it looks solid. This one is very common. I'm going to activate the command hatch. Then I want to use uh, one pattern, for example, this one here. And then I want to apply the hatch to this room. So I click on it and press enter. But as you see, this is only one color. It looks like the pattern didn't work. Instead, if I zoom in, I'm able to see now the pattern, but very small and would not appear in the paper. However, the problem is only related with the scale. If you look here, you can see the scale is set as 1, which is very small for this drawing, as this distance is 2600. Then I'm going to change it to, for example, 100. And now you can see it looks better. Basically, when you have this kind of problem, just change the scale. The dashed green line is not appearing. When I use Object Snap Points for drawing the next object, this dashed green line will guide me to place the next line with precision. The problem is when I try to do it, that line is not appearing. So I, I cannot place the next line with precision. And if it happens, it's because the Object Snap Tracking is deactivated. So go to this icon and click on it. Finally, I can see that it is now tracking the object snap points. Dynamic input. This happened to me a few times and then I was clicking everywhere to fix it. So do you see these labels here? Then you may click in an icon that you don't know its function and later you realize that they don't appear anymore as it's in this situation, that I cannot see the label there. But to fix it back, it's very easy. I'm going to click in this icon with the bars at the drawing status bar, and everything that has a tick on it means that it's displayed on the bar. And this time what I need is the dynamic uh, input, and I click to add it to the bar. And this is what is responsible for appearing the labels. So I'm going to activate it again, and now if I draw a line, I can see the labels appearing again. Issue with Object Snap icons. Imagine that I have this drawing here, and I want to draw this line with the distance of 100 mm from the top. So normally I activate the command line, I hover the endpoint and drag the pointer down and then type 100 and press enter. Very good. The problem is that sometimes when I'm dragging down, this green icon appears here and it represents the mode nearest. So if I type now 100, the start point of the new line will be somewhere else. And 
what I should do in these cases is clicking on the object snap icon there and unselect the mode nearest by clicking here. Now, if I repeat the process, I activate the line, I go to this endpoint, and when I drag it down, I can see this label extension, and it's the right moment to enter the distance. As you see, it worked. Then just type the distance of my desired line. Another fast tip. I'm inserting a dimension line here. Then I want to move the label a bit to the right, for example here, and when I click, it didn't go to the place that I want. And this happened because the endpoint was shown in the moment that I click, and the dimension line was attracted to this place. Then what I should do is easy. Just click when only when the endpoint is not displayed, like for example now. A last situation in this section. I want to draw a small arc in this part of the toilet. I will click in the command arc, three point arc, and then when I want to pick the first point, it is snapping to this midpoint or to the end point there. So how can I do it? Also because if I deactivate the object snap, the arc might not start from the intersection of the two objects. So, if I go again to the icon of object snap, and now I can activate the mode nearest, because it's going to be useful here. I go again, and now I can click, for example, this point, and the third point, I will place it there where I see the icon nearest. And also by clicking now, I'm sure that both objects will be intersected. Ok, it's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel to watch the full content of tutorials. So thank you very much and see you next time.